you think? Very respectable. Exactly. I like your gold dress better. Oh, but not for tonight. Tonight, I need something that says, I was too busy reading and thinking profound intellectual thoughts to even consider getting dressed up. I think you're making that statement. Mm. Mm. I need something. Oh, hand me those. Oh. Do you need spectacles? Not at all. I actually have perfect vision. But don't they make me look smart? Tonight is going to be an intellectual thrill ride. We have a very impressive speaker. And to top it all off, Sam Bowles will be here tonight with Emily. This will be their very first public appearance since he agreed to publish her poem. You know, people are going to talk about the fact that it was my salon where Sam Bowles discovered Emily Dickinson, where I helped him discover her. I'm a tastemaker, Hattie. And now I've put together what could be one of the greatest literary partnerships in history. Are the Housewives of Great Barrington doing that? No, I don't think so. That's right. Now, I'm sure people are already here. Wait. Are you sure you don't want to wear this? I mean, it's just so beautiful and from New York. Hattie, I already told you it's not the right look for tonight. And besides, yeah, I can't be seen in the same dress twice. For talent. Ah, there's my genius. Emily Dickinson, front page poet. Have you told everyone the big news? Yes, yes I have. Oh, it's been so exciting. Not as exciting as this dress. <laughs> wow. It's beautiful. Ah, oh, look, my guests of honor are here. The editor and his poet. That's the kind of rare literary match that only gets made at a salon like this one, you know? Mm. Mr. Bowles, I'm so pleased you could make it. And Emily, you look gorgeous. I'm not sure I wear the right thing to. Oh, darling. You look perfect. You need to stand out. You're New England's hottest new writer. Um, when is the poem coming out? Oh, yeah, oh. can't wait to read it. Um, next week, I think. Maybe Wednesday, maybe Friday. We have a few things lined up. Well, push them all back. Emily's voice needs to be heard, don't you agree? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm just so thrilled that I could bring the two of you together. Something about this feels like... Destiny. So, uh, Emily, are you ready? For what? For me to show you off. I just hope the salon is ready for me. Get it, girl. <laughs> about all these rumors. What rumors? People keep telling me samples cheats on his wife. Oh, okay. Well, that's not true. Are you sure? Because the minute they heard he was publishing me, they just started to assume that we were intimate. That's the most insulting thing I've ever heard. He is publishing you because you are a genius. I know that's what you might think. Emily, it's what I know. Listen, I know Sam and I know Mary. Mary and I grew up together, remember? Yeah. You once told me she was the only friend you ever had before me. Yes, I loved Mary very much. Mary is special in a lot of ways. She reminds me of you. She's introspective. Mary doesn't like to leave the house. She's terribly shy. I guess she just doesn't really like to be seen. I can understand that. I came here tonight to be seen, and so far it's been a pretty unpleasant experience. Well, that just makes me angry. You deserve to be seen, Emily. You deserve to be published. And it's just not fair what happens to women. The minute we get a little bit of fame or show the slightest amount of ambition, we get slapped with the nastiest comments. We get these targets on our backs. Well, I say to hell with all of that. You go out there and you own this. You worked for this. And Sam Bowles believes in you as a writer, and that's that. Thank you. Okay. Now, let's find our seats. It's time for